My purpose is to create, oh. inspire, and abuse. I heard, wait, 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 I heard Cali smell like a bitch. That's what they saying though, huh? It's like, you can't just do that, bro. It's like, you can't just say some random shit. Run that back. We're gonna rank YouTube's 10 worst apology videos from bad to downright terrible. So let's begin by looking at Rice Gum, whose trash apology went by the name of This Dude Calls Me Out for Mystery Unboxing. Rice Gum's apology referred to a different video from three days prior, titled How I Got AirPods for $4, in which he'd promote a mystery box gambling site while making it sound as though the website was an easy way to make money. Because Rice Gum had a young audience, he'd be called out by H3H3 Productions and PewDiePie for promoting gambling to children, with Ricegum's response coming in the days following these call-out videos. His apology began on terrible footing, as instead of admitting any kind of wrongdoing, he'd state that he was justified in doing the video as they paid him more than $100,000 before going on to state that he wasn't the first YouTuber to promote the website. Ricegum then concluded the video by giving out multiple Amazon gift card codes. They're already used. Let's say sorry and give you these Amazon gift cards, so I'm sorry. Only each code had already expired by the time the video went live. You know what's fucked up? I grew up with Rice Gum, not literally, but <clears throat> I grew up watching him. But bro, I remember when he did that shit. Mind you, I was like 14, 13, 15. I was a young boy. The monarch of motion, bro. I have never speed blitzed to the comment section so fast. I swear, at least maybe like once or twice, I was like first. Copy the code now. Because I remember when the comments were zero. And they're, and they're like, oh, they're expired, they're expired. That's how that motherfucker rice gum gets you, bro. That's, this motherfucker was a tactician, bro, on some on some Mongolia shit, bro, on some Genghis Khan shit. Beginning your apology by bragging about money before going on to offer your audience some old expired gift cards definitely makes for a pretty poor apology. However, the video was short and sweet. It felt as though it was consistent with Ricegum's personality, and the argument about other YouTubers promoting the site before him was actually a pretty reasonable point. Ricegum was also smart enough to keep his cool throughout the whole video, which Shane Dawson wasn't able to do, whose incredibly volatile state led to YouTube's ninth worst apology video. Taking accountability began with Shane stating that emotionally chucking on a webcam and apologizing was stupid and childish. And that is stupid. That is something that a child does. Not something that a 31 year old man does. That's not, that's not good. Although this is exactly what he'd do over the following 20 minutes. Shane was apologizing for the jokes he'd made during his 10 year YouTube career and although he'd state that he was simply laying out his feelings, the whole video used manipulative language and felt as though it was coming from a point of total desperation. Inspiration. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to anybody that saw that. It's something that I shouldn't even be able to get out of. I should lose everything for that. Shane used all the classic buzz phrases such as I will educate myself and I will do better and I don't know who that person is anymore. And therefore the whole video just feels like a pathetic template to get hate off his back as opposed to a personalized video with his own terminology to apply to his specific situation. The hypocrisy continued into the end of the video when Shane stated that being defensive was a poor way to make changes. I'm gonna go on the defensive. And that's not a good way to live, and it's not a good way to grow. Yet he seemed completely unaware that his entire video was defensive in response to the drama that he had found himself in. However, at least Shane didn't insinuate that his audience was stupid, as when the Fine Brothers uploaded their awful apology, that accidentally insult the entire- Holy shit, this guy's transitions to like, to other shit is insane, what the fuck? of YouTube. The Fine Brothers had pioneered the reaction genre on YouTube with their Kids React series and would post a video in early 2016 simply titled React World in which it sounded like the Fine Brothers were trying to copyright any kind of YouTube reaction video. As a result of their poorly crafted concept, they'd receive hate from every corner of the internet, prompting what we're now calling the eighth worst apology in YouTube history. The apology began with the Fine Brothers admitting that their video was worded poorly and that they never planned on trying to copyright YouTube YouTube's reaction genre. First and foremost, we're sorry for confusing people by using terminology like our react format. We were never trying to say that every video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control. However, despite stating this, the two would then go on to explain that they had taken down other reaction content in the past, while continuing to imply that the audience was stupid for being unable to comprehend the concept laid out in their initial react world video. Just because we have or might get trademarks doesn't mean we're going to run around and start taking down videos. 
videos. We're sorry that you're too stupid to understand how this works, is basically the sum <laughs> of this apology in one sentence. So yeah, classic arrogant non-apology. At the end of the day, the Fine Brothers got off lightly, as their initial mistake wasn't all that big of a deal. However, the same couldn't be said for Travis Scott, who posted the seventh worst oh, apology that was after 10 insane. people died at his Astro World concert. It happened in November 2021, despite everybody real, in the crowd bro. chanting to that's, stop that's the show, a, Travis Scott really continued, happened. which ultimately resulted in the 10 fatalities alongside 500 other injuries. As the news of the tragedy began to go viral, Travis was planning his apology and would take to Instagram with someone of an unconventional approach. He was seemingly trying to avoid having his face clickbaited by the media and therefore recorded a short video in black and white under bad lighting from a bad angle with his eyes closed and his hand covering his face for the majority of the video. This was certainly a 200 IQ play. However, it also made for an extremely terrible, unpleasant viewing experience and resulted in comments such as, Travis Scott is clearly much more focused on his headache than his apology, as well as he gave his forehead more respect than the people who died of a horrible, painful death yeah. as a direct consequence of his inaction. The words he used in the video weren't much better either, because as highlighted by this comment, his apology is basically, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I just want to send out prayers to the... To the Yo! Yo, what the fuck? Wait, hey, bro. Wait, bro, I did the cook just like you said at the funeral. You here with me now? This is the after party. Oh. Happening. The funniest part is that in his apology, Travis is talking like he wasn't there. It's like the dude just woke up and was like, oh man, people died at Travis Scott's concert. The apology was certainly bizarre. However, it wasn't nearly as strange as the sixth worst apology by Simply Kenna, who became YouTube's first creator to apologize in the form of a poem. The apology came in response to being called out for plagiarism and seemingly as an overcompensation for trying to be original, Simply Kenna wrote, a three and a half minute poem using nothing but incredibly deep metaphor. Am I a human? Am I a monster? Or am I something in between? Now to Kenna's credit, the poem was pretty well written. However, using it to apologize felt like an unbelievably strange move. The whole point of an apology is to be sincere, to write a poem, rehearse it, those fake facial expressions and background music, babe, that's not sincere. An apology in poetry is me in my rawest form, even though I'm not raw at all, because I rehearse this instead of just talking to you guys naturally. That poem is so gawny, still trying to be aesthetic in an apology video. The video was so bad that Kenna then posted another apology video to say sorry for the first one and as summarized by this comment, if you have to make an apology video for an apology video, it might be time to take a break from YouTube. However, at least simply Kenna had the chance to take a break voluntarily as when T. Martin posted his awful apology, the audience- Yo, this, yo, Sunny V2. This guy is a slick, this the slickest, like, like, the first, the first, like, five were like, oh, okay, wow, damn, that's a, uh, where are we on to the next one? I'm like, damn, bro. Watching completely. In the lead up to what we're calling the fifth worst apology in YouTube history, T. Martin promoted a website called CSGO Lotto, claiming that he found the site at random and was able to use it to win expensive CSGO right, that, items. That, 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 that. Although it wouldn't be long before T. Martin was exposed as being one of the owners of the website, prompting the now infamous I'm sorry video. Hey, the apology began on fake manipulative cool. footing as T. Martin sat there talking to his dog Wait, about how on. difficult that the video was going to be. Cooper, I have no no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. However, it's hard to tell exactly how the video was supposed to be difficult, as T. Martin would do nothing besides sit there and spend two minutes telling the audience how dumb they were. My connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. This is and always has been a clearly stated policy. He barely even apologized. He's putting the blame on the people for not understanding, WTF. He basically called his fans stupid. I love how he didn't even apologize and basically just said it's our fault. It didn't help that he T. Martin decided to film shit. the apology in the entryway to his mansion with his expensive truck sitting just outside the window, but at least he was smart enough to flaunt his wealth subtly as the Liver King's terrible apology began with him blatantly bragging about how much money he had. Prior to the Liver King confession, he'd consistently reiterated that his physique was natural, although when More Plates More Dates uploaded a video showing that this wasn't true, the Liver King felt the pressure pressure to apologize. The Liver King would begin his apology by bragging about being rich. Before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich 
but no longer anonymous. Before going on to try and convince the audience ah, that he never planned on becoming famous. Fun. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. Despite having grown the brand using his face, name, and image as the most recognizable feature. The Liver King then goes on to claim that his persona was nothing more than an experiment to help struggling teenagers. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message. Our people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. Which felt like a cliche cop-out to shift the blame from what he was being accused of. The beginning of the apology was bad, the magnitude of the initial lie was bad, and the need for the apology was almost non-existent in the first place. However, because the Liver King was able to finish the video with a couple of reasonable points, he's avoided being any higher on this list. Besides, it's almost impossible to have an apology worse than the one posted by Social Repose. The video had been <laughs> uploaded after his ex-girlfriend Yeah, he said apparently Liver King stinks like a motherfucker. What? Bruh, that is such a... Such a wild, like, rumor, bro. Imagine me like, yo, I heard Shablink stinks. Huh. What do you think about that? That's what I heard on the grapevine. I heard he stinks. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Wait, what did I do? <laughs> Wait, why you want my ass? Yo, I heard, bro, I heard, I heard that motherfucker, uh, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, my mom, what will stink, bro? I, they say he smell like Cuban cigars and, uh, and, and come pinga. That's what they say. They say he stink. I don't know though. They said Cali smell like gizmo. Bro, what the fuck is gizmo? I don't even know, bro. It just sound like what he smelled like. I'm like, oh shit, he does. Like, what the fuck? I just start creating these rumors. I heard. Wait, wait, wait. I heard Cali smell like a bitch. That's what they saying though. Huh? It's like you can't just do that, bro. It's like you can't just say some random shit. It's like, yo, I already smell. Smell like what? You smell like a bitch. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Wait, that's what they saying, though. Don't look at me. That, I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. Hey, I, I'm, I'm with you. On, I'm your friend. I'm, your, I'm on your side, bro. I'm trying to figure out the same thing. Oh, that is a crazy rumor. Like, how the fuck did you hear that, Cam? No, no, not that clowning you, but I just thought it was funny. Oh, I heard a man stink like poop. That's what they saying though. That's just, that's just me though. That's just me though. Just being none as Sorry, I see an amazing. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, this might have been one of the worst. So, oh my god, this one was. Fu I don't really give a fuck about that guy. He looked like a fucking vampire off Twilight, but like the spoof version, like the parody, like the parody version of Twilight, like what? The, yeah. Bro, this is the guy. Oh my God, this this has to be. They said this is top two. Uh, I think it might be top one. Like this was fucking insane on all platforms. I think she. I think she. You know, she sexually did some stuff to a guy or some freaky frog shit while he was off. You know, off the Borg. And I believe that you know after yeah, let's watch this, y'all. I was I was here for this apology was so bad that people began to question if she was even saying sorry at all. Sienna Mae was one of TikTok's fastest growing creators until another TikToker accused her of assault, after which she'd take a break from the internet and return with what we're calling the second worst apology in YouTube history. It began with the explanation that taking a month off social media was the most difficult month of Sienna's life before she'd gone to state that her purpose in life was to post TikTok dances and untouched photos of herself. Throughout the video, Sienna implied that her youth excused her from any wrongdoing, although the worst part was that she never even apologized and rather spent more than half of the video playing what she called a relatable Sam Smith song while doing a choreographed dance with the goal of inspiring her audience. The stupidity of the apology is best summarized by this comment reading, the fact that she and her team watched this and said, yeah, this is a good idea is hilarious to me. All of them together make one brain cell. Although Sienna's one brain cell was still significantly more nah, than- we gotta watch, like, they skip. They just shame on you, Sunny V2, bro, for skipping past that. That oh my fucking boncho, brother. Uh... My purpose is to create, oh. inspire, and abuse. 
I thought oh, I God, would make I guess my... you deleted it. I'm not going to watch it. What the fuck? Get this dog. Get this fucking chunky dog off my screen. God now damn you. Now Laura Lee had when she posted almost objectively the worst apology in YouTube history. Laura Lee posted the apology in response to some old tweets, although she would have been significantly better off remaining silent as there was nothing within this video that wasn't a complete travesty. She'd spend the first 30 seconds talking about nothing besides how difficult the video was going to be. And this video before going on to completely lose it on camera while implementing all the classic phrases such as I'm so sorry to disappoint you all and I know that I'm better than that. Laura Lee cried and apologized then cried and apologized some more although in the process the audience noticed that there were no tears coming out of her eyes. Is this an audition? I say no tears. Literally no tears coming from her eyes yet she keeps wiping away. I think she forgot to buy the eye drops. After everybody came to realize that Laura Lee wasn't even crying she'd take a month off YouTube to reflect after which she'd return with an apology video for her initial apology, where she'd conclude the drama with more NPC YouTube apology dialogue. I have changed so much as a human being. I have grown so much through the situation. I have grown and I have learned so much. Yeah, that is deplorable. Objectively, the bro, just fake it, bro. If you sit, bro, if you drop the hard R, bro, oh, bro, and you get called out for it. Or you was just on the city being racist, bro. You said some real crazy fraud shit. Ah, oh, damn. You gonna cry about it, bro? You said it. You said it. No one made you say it.